Hello guys, and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, yes, it has happened again. We are back in Southampton at our garage. So, uh, if you're wondering why well, we're back at uh, Southampton anyway, at my garage, uh, basically, the same thing happened last time uh, that happened in uh, one of my previous videos. If you don't know um, that why it happened, uh, you can go and have a look at that video. I'll probably link it in the description. But... I'm going to tell you later on anyway, so you might as well keep on uh, watching. Uh, but first, we're going to take advantage of this. We are going to do a job uh, from uh, Southampton to... Um, let me just show you. Well, last episode, we were up in Kyle, Keel, whatever. Uh, do not know, sorry. We're going to go to the very top of the map, here in Poland. Gdansk, as all I can say. I, c I do not know any Polish words. I do apologize. But yeah, we're going to go on our new truck, our official long haul, with our new truck. And it's probably going to be split into parts because this is going to be a very long trip. So I will see you when I have reached uh, the pickup point. So see you then. Alrighty, so we are here. So we're just going to pick up our little uh, load from here. Um, I don't actually know what it is yet. Enter. Enter. There we go. Just a little unresponsive. So, there is our route for today, or for the next couple of days, shall I add. We're going all the way to there. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but looks like we're taking two tractors, 13 tons, for nearly 70,000 euros, and it's a special load. So let's get underway. And then we can talk about uh, why this happened again, and the very uh, exciting daily news that I bring to you guys. So here we go. This is the same same place as, I think, uh, a couple of episodes ago. Oh dear, that did not sound good. Did I damage my truck? Nope, but I probably damaged the trailer. That's not our problem. Let's try and... Let's hope it's not. It's not. Doesn't look like it's stuck in that log pile. Good. Anyway, uh, our truck was heavy, um, strong enough. Sorry, to pull it out. Take a wide turn here. Yes, we don't want another job. We've already got one. Let's just take a my a moment to admire our load. And of course, because this is a special load. Beacon time, indeed, and 70 kilometers an hour behind me. And it looks like we've got some cultivators on the front in front of the tractors. So we've got to be very careful with this load. And before I forget, let's turn on the GPS. Because we do not know where we're going. We're going to the right now. And we're driving on the left hand side of the road. The English way, indeed. So, it uh, looks like our route is going down to Dover, crossing on the ferry or the tunnel. Nothing. Oh, that does look. Hopefully, he'll wait. I could see it's a Scania. Yep. Yep, made it around there. Very nice. So, uh, if you haven't noticed, um, we've actually got our front lights working, as you can see. Our additional lights are actually working, and this is this is um the uh, low low light beam. And before it was very very weak, but now we've got our actual uh, additional lights. It's very strong, and even stronger when we put it up to high beam. This is very useful. So yeah, it's going to be that's good. It's going to let's have a toast to many good what miles in this truck, our new truck. Hopefully, won't have to repair it. I haven't broken it yet. There's no guarantee I won't. Uh, if you can, if you know me by my reckless driving. Oh, yep, just like that. I didn't even see that guy. In fact, he just slid by the bottom of my truck. And we're on our way. Uh, 27 hours to go. So don't worry, that's not real time. If you're new to this game, it is. Uh, I th 
believe it's every three seconds, no, every one minute in this game is three minutes... Yes, yes, that, that's right. One second is like three minutes, or something or rather. So yeah, it's not that, it's not that long. We have got 1,000 miles to go, which is over 2,000 kilometers. So when we get to our destination, we'll probably get the Steam achievement of uh, drive a load undamaged for 2,000 kilometers. And I hope I don't damage this load because I want to get that achievement. Um, yeah, the achievements I've got so far are sleep. Uh, don't know. I think that's the only one. No, mini mini maxer. That's one I remember. That one. And uh, yeah, those are the ones I have got. Anyway, now all the news you want to hear is why I was back at the garage and not in Scandinavia region anymore. Well, not Scandinavia region, but you know, German North Nordic countries region. Anyway, um, so. SCS have released a minor update. So the version before we were playing, uh, the last episode was on 1.13.1. Now this version is on 1.13.4. So obviously they've done some changes to the uh, probably some minor coding programming changes there. How are we on fuel? We are fine. Yes, we're doing a night drive, and I do like night drives, apart from when it rains. Let's hope it does not rain. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, uh, they've done some minor changes, probably. Uh, probably to support a new paint job that has come out. It is not the German one, that was the one that was released a couple of days ago. But this one, this is the French paint job DLC. Yes, the French paint jobs are dealt. So they are nearly complete in their mission, as they call it, to uh, design all the country's flags in Europe. And for some reason they did Canada and America, but you know, we'll forgive them for that. Um, yeah, so uh, I would recommend uh, getting them. They are beastly. They're, I love uh, the designs. They're not the normal flags. Oh no no. They are actually of a famous French figure uh, by the name of Napoleon. Yes, that guy there. Five foot two, I do believe. Let's overtake this. I think this is a Volvo. By my uh, truck spotting skills. No? Yeah, mm, I think it's a Volvo. Uh, anyway, but, uh, so yeah, that is, it's got a picture of Napoleon, very detailed, might I add. Him riding a horse, holding the revolutionary flag, I think it is. Or just a French flag, I think it's just a French flag. Don't know much about him apart from that he um, was a very good fighter. And we'll move back into this lane. So yeah, that's very nice, very highly detailed. Uh, they've also got one of uh, like the, the Eiffel Tower baguettes, etc, etc. So yeah, so we have the German ones, which were plain old, you know, flags, but they actually took some time into the French ones, which is really nice. So the countries I believe they have remaining, Belgium, is that my worst nightmare? Is it starting to rain? Oh dear. Oh well, we can handle that as we go 75 miles per hour down the motorway. Um, yeah, through a tunnel, it seems. And there's a speed camera, so we better slow down, 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 down. There we go. Didn't get a ticket, and the guy overtook us again. But it will stop raining in the tunnel. There we go. I do like that feature, because in some simulators, the crappy ones, may I add, the rain actually comes through the tunnel roof. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's very simularism. Very lifelike. Anyway, we're going back out onto the rain. Now, if you own this game, you might hate the rain and night, because um, rain, obviously, causes quite a lot of lag, rendering all the raindrops and all the raindrops on the windows, plus lights, lights and rain, 
uh, at the most laggiest. Now this is a pretty decent machine, so hopefully we shouldn't get too much of an SPS drop. But yeah, lights and rain, they do combine to make a lot of lag. Hopefully we're not too bad. So yeah, if you lo own a low end machine, basically just turn just just turn um rain off is my advice. Uh nothing much you can do about lights because this game is meant for modern machines, not uh uh what what's a low end machine? Uh a t t twelve year old computer. So yeah. Uh anyway. Yeah, so I've just I just believe that that update had something to do with the French uh, DLC flags, which are currently on sale until the 20th of October, just like the German flags were. Uh, they have they're actually having quite a lot of sales on Euro Truck Simulator stuff because uh, they had Euro Truck Simulator a couple weeks ago down to five pounds, um, f down from thirty pounds. To five pounds. That's quite a. Oh, I want to go back there. Uh, yeah, that's quite a. That's quite a deal. Uh, yeah. So Max. I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe they're losing business. I hope not. Because if they are, uh, it won't be a very good day for us. Our tractors seem to be there. Anyway, I think we should move on to the daily news, don't you? Um, anyway, uh, there has been a new blog post about the Scandinavian DLC since the last video was up. Um, they have actually released new pictures, and these aren't any old pictures uh, like they usually do. They actually did something a bit different that they've never done before, and there's the sunflowers in England. And as you can see, this is England, but, uh, well, there should be crops growing there, but don't know why, we're still good on fuel, we might need to sleep soon. Maybe we'll sleep on the ferry, or or train, whatever we're going to take. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're actually getting, oh yeah, we're going to the channel, to channel tunnel in Dover. Actually, we made that in quite, quite a, a plausible time. I thought it was going to take longer than that. But obviously, speeding down the motorway did help. Uh, let's take this wide. Hopefully, when we get out on the other side, it's not raining. Although I doubt it, because the the channel tunnel only takes 35 minutes. Now that's the ferry. I think the train's even less, like 15 minutes. Because in real life, it's only an hour, and so it'd be about well, I don't know 20 minutes in game time. But anyway, um. Yeah, I'll talk about what they did in special with their pictures on the other side. We are going to Calais. Yes, that's I was right. Thirty-five minutes. Okay, three hundred euros out of the bank. And my ad, I forgot to mention in the last videos. I think our bank account has gone down quite a lot considering we bought a new truck and everything but this should get us back up nearly 70,000 euros uh, yeah anyway it's still raining which is a bit of a shame I'd like to see the scenery around me and I need to remember to drive on the right hand side but yeah um, what they did is they took photos of real life cities in Scandinavia, so cities in Sweden, cities in uh, Norway and Denmark, and then they took uh, a photo of their in-game virtual world of what they represent as Scandinavia, and they compared them. So roads, uh, cities, etc. And I can tell you, it looks pretty damn accurate and precise. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, they do, they compare roads and all that, so tunnels, like there's a, there's a photo of a tunnel with a bridge going through it, uh, and they took a photo of it in real life, with the city in the background, and even in um, ETS too, they managed to render it, and it looks, it is, it is pretty much the same. Obviously they can't do every single individual building, 
but they did their best, and I can tell you, they did it pretty damn well. Obviously, uh, SCS living up to their high standards, and, um, yeah, they even said in their blog post that this is the uh, most longest project they've done with DLC, and it stopped raining, and we have some of our frame rate back. Now this is the corner I absolutely hate with passion, because look at it, it's absolutely tiny to fit in here. I think we're going to make this pretty damn well. Yep, just looking in my mirrors. Yeah, we got past that. Yeah, but coming around that at speed is uh, pretty much death. Death by corner. You can either flip, you either crash, and then you're like stuck, glitched in the actual barrier. Okay, uh, got speed limit here, but we're well under. So yeah, that there are some corners designed not for trucks. I can I would say. Uh, that's our beacon. I thought that was like a helicopter or something searching for us. Ooh, the bad trucker. I have to say, my own personal note is truckers, in America at least, are, pers um, are portrayed as bad people who run away from the police. Well, that's my... that's what I... that's what I heard anyway. They're like portrayed as like bad criminals who run away from the police in huge trucks. And I can tell you, that's not real. I mean, they just deliver stuff. That's all truckers are for. They're not to run away for anything. <laughs> Used as a getaway truck. Something. No, they're, they're legit people. Earning their wages. Anyway, that's just American movies, so what can you do about that? Anyway, um... Yeah, unfortunately though, SCS, along with uh, saying that it's going to take... They uh, took a long time on this because they wanted to get it absolutely precise. And uh, it's going to look a lot different from this map. It's going to be a lot more realistic, they say. And we're getting off it. But unfortunately, they did say in, the, in their blog post, which is kind of good that the game reset us back to Southampton again, um, because they're going to take... They said a few months, yes, months, to polish it up, get everything looking up to scratch. Uh, I bl They did say though that they are in the uh, very final days of making it, and they're just going to polish it up, and they should have it released by the end of the year. And that, to me, is a long way away. But we can wait that long. Also, I'm worried about. Um, because that's nearer the time that uh, American Truck Simulator is going to be released. So they, mm, uh, but that doesn't really matter, as now I know for sure. There's a nice church up there. It's lit up. I think it's a lighthouse, but oh well. Uh, oh, oh, oh! What the heck? Oh, oh my God! They just had a head-on collision. I totally didn't cause that. Oh, what's the AI going to do? Let's see how smart they are. Oh, that was a hefty crash. He, well, I was going like 60 miles per hour. He must have been going at least 80. Head-on clash. Head-on collision at 80 miles per hour. Oh, I don't think they'll be getting up for that from that one, I do think. Oh, yes, my favorite time of day in this game, sunrise. <laughs> we are the only two witnesses, me and that guy back there. Oh well, <laughs> that's what the AI get, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I do like Sunrise because um, it looks absolutely amazing with all the god rays shining through and all that. I do like it. Uh, there's the moon going down over the hill. So yeah, uh, by the end of the year, hopefully it'll be up. But as I was saying before that uh, incident, shall we say, that we totally did not cause in any way, form, or shape. That uh, they have two. They have basically they've split their company into two. So one half of the company is working on Euro Truck Simulator 2 updates, DLC, etc., etc., 
Another half of the company is working on American Truck Simulator, which is a good pis a very good business plan to me, because uh, they are still supporting uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, even though it's a two-year-old game. I do not know why I put my indicator on there, but we'll just forget that. And I think we're going from Brussels into nope, we're going from France into Belgium. Yes, we are. I think we've been going for about 20 minutes now by my timer. Uh, where are we about on the Z map? We have just come out of Calais and we're just past a fuel station. I think we'll stop around here on the border, border sorry, of the um, Netherlands. I think that would be good. So yeah, it's a good business plan and ooh because um, otherwise your company will get like tied up and oh we must do Euro Truck Simulator for this. No, we must do American Truck Simulator and it, yeah. Uh, I do respect them. They have actually got, uh, as I mentioned, in the, maybe a, uh, an earlier video that they have got a new member which is a modder from the ETS2 community which is helping them. He is very experienced. Um, he has some nice mods and look at that, the sunrise coming over the sunflowery hills, which belong in France, not in England. It's, I don't think SCS have ever been to England. Rightio. So, um, also, they uh, before they mentioned the Scandinavian uh, blog post, they actually did a blog post before that, talking about the new feature that is coming in, I believe, 1.14. And also, sorry, uh, I forgot to mention, 1.14 is their release, they said, in a blog post, uh, along with the Scandinavian. Uh, they said they put it in there, saying it's their release, and it won't take as long as the Scandinavian to uh, release, because it's not a whole map to uh, try and find bugs and fixes for. No, it's just an update. Uh, but they, uh, the new feature of the uh, 1.14 update is that you'll be able to have lifted axles. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's basically it's a uh, tractor, which is the back of the truck that the trailer connects to. Uh, you can lift one of your axles up. Is basically what it says on the tin. Um, yeah, you can lift up an axle with the push of a button. And what this is the very good thing about it. It's not only a cosmetic feature. No, it actually has physics to it, which is like what I like about this game, detail, detail and features. It's much better than any of the other very, very poorly made simulators out there. And I think those games bring down the simu simulator genre, because this game is not at all like other simulators, not to mention <coughs> any uh, other simulators out there. <coughs> Farming simulator. <coughs> Actually, I can't really say that until uh, Farming Simulator 2015 comes out, because that I'll have a look on YouTube at the new release. Um, there's a teaser trailer, and it even says that they have done a major overhaul of the graphics and the physics. And I'm gonna test that out. I'm gonna buy it. And see if that's true. I've got one of the oldest farming simulators, uh, 2011, and God, that is bad. It's it's good fun, you know. It's nice to muck around with some mates on it, but it's really really poor um, compared to this. <gasps> A train, yay! I think the barriers just went up as well. Oh damn it, we just missed the train. Anyway, where is the train? I can't see it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll have to have a look at Farming Simulator 2015. It says to have... I am looking at the photos. I don't know if they're actually animation or not, or actual in-game footage, but uh, it looks better than these graphics at the moment. Now, I'm expecting high standards if they're going to compare their game to Euro Truck Simulator. I'll be doing that, and I'll probably report back to you guys if it's any good. Anyway, but a slightly off topic there. 
Um, yeah, so the uh, tractors, yes, I was saying about that. Not the actual physical tractors on the back of my trailer, but, you know, the tractors as in uh, the back of the truck. Uh, so physics, yes, I was talking about physics. They actually have real physics, so um, if you probably lift your wheel off the ground too much and your trailer's heavy... Ooh. I'm getting a bit tired. Uh, if you, yeah, so it will actually affect the performance. You'll probably slow down because you have only got one axle working. And they did also confirm. Come on, mate, you're going too slow. Um, that trailers will also have an ability to have a lifted axle. So that's very interesting. I'm very. Uh, is there anyone coming? No, we're just gonna have to. No, there is a truck coming. God damn it. Maybe after this, is this a Mercedes? No, it's not Mercedes. It's a scanner. They haven't even. I don't know when they're gonna put in the new Mercedes and actually change the logo from Majestic to Mercedes. Come on. Are we clear? Yep, we're clear. It's a Volvo. I'm very disappointed. They're meant to be much more powerful than the Renault. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, oh, he came a bit fast around the corner. So did we, technically. Okay. Uh, we're going straight through here. Uh, how that actually? Oh, is he turning? No. Okay. How they're actually going to make? Whoa! How they're actually going to make uh, the lifted axle? So it will actually be, uh, you know, the tractors in the store. They'll basically add a lifted axle uh, tractor to that section, and you'll be able to choose it for the back of your truck. It's probably going to be unlocked at a high level, obviously. Oh my gosh! We're, we're down from 28 hours to just under 20. Eight hours off the clock there, but we do need to sleep. Um, hopefully our petrol station is coming out s up soon. Let's just have a little check. Uh, yeah, it's just, just, it's just over the border, literally. Ah! Lifted axle. Yes, that's very... very interesting. I can't... it's going to be pretty good seeing that. Also, um, in the blog post, apart from from posting pictures of it. <gasps> Ooh, almost did a airtime over that hill. Um, they also put a little GIF animation of how it will work. So you just push a bus in and it raises. There's a little GIF of that. Um, it's very, very smooth. As I said, not a, com a cosmetic feature, an actual real time. It will actually impact your performance, good or bad. But yeah, and also. They are actually nearly ready with the DAF. They are polishing it up as they are with 1.14 and the Scandinavian DLC. I don't know how many teams are working on ETS, like one for the DAF, one for the map, one for the updates. Um, I don't know about that. I think we can turn our lights off now. There you go. If we get fined, then oh well. And we really need to overtake this guy. Here's another slow Volvo. No, <laughs> it's a Renault. Oh dear, I just fell in my own trap. Oh well. So yeah, the DAF should be coming up very soon. And we're passing from Brass, um, Belgium in to the Netherlands. And here is our f fuel station. This is part one complete. Sorry if it's been a bit long. But that was quite a lot of news to get through. There we go. So thank you guys for watching part one of my long haul two. God, I've got to come up with another name. I know I'm getting tired. I know I'm getting tired. And that Renault just passed us. But I'll see you in part two, where hopefully we'll have some new news to talk about on the way. And I do like those racing tyres, they look pretty damn cool. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. So without further ado, see you later. <laughs>